My name is Kevin Scarpati, S-C-A-R-P-A-T-I, Mayor of the City of Meriden. Uh, you know, today there was a press release that was sent out regarding um, a coach at uh, Platt High School. Uh, the individual was arrested and uh, charged uh, due to an incident that occurred in a locker room. He was the head coach uh, or a, a coach of our diving team at Platt. A female student um, noticed the camera uh, upon entering the locker room uh, before getting changed and immediately reported it uh, to school officials. At that time, school officials uh, uh, engaged the Meriden Police Department and the Meriden Police Department got involved and started an investigation uh, immediately. And that was uh, sometime last month. Uh, the investigation uh, was uh, looking at his cell phone um, and other devices to make sure that uh, there were no other incidents that were recorded or available uh, to others and there was no other findings whatsoever on those devices and so the investigation uh, has concluded at this point and it is now um, in the court for recommendation as to what the sentencing will look like for those next steps. I've been in touch with school officials and police officials as well uh, to ensure that uh, first off the student has uh, the support they need as well as any other student uh, or anyone that feels any threat that they feel comfortable reporting those measures. So uh, I want to commend the student in this case for taking a, a proactive measure to call something out when she noticed something was wrong and that can't go unnoticed and so uh, to that student and any other student, uh, make sure if you see something, say something. That is obviously something we, we talk about all too frequently, um, whether it's with uh, you know, a weapon in a classroom or a video camera or, or a, a, a phone where it shouldn't be. If you see something, say something. So uh, the school system has assured me that uh, the individual is no longer employed by the city or the Meriden Public School System. I know it was put out in the release that they were placed on leave. Uh, I, I just want to clarify that the individual is no longer employed uh, by our school system or the city. Um, and so uh, with that, I guess I'll open it up to any questions. We obviously want to be uh, careful around what is said so that we're not identifying the victim in this case. Uh, but I can say that she was a female student and I commend her efforts in coming forward. Uh, from what I understand, it was uh, quickly realized who the individual was that was responsible. Uh, the Meriden Police Department intervened immediately. Uh, they uh, searched the individual's uh, belongings and uh, devices, as I mentioned, and, uh, and then over the course of the last, I, they asked me not to get into specifics of time frame, so I don't even want to say number of days or weeks, but um, I, I will say that, that the, invest the investigation concluded that there were no other uh, incidents found of issue involving any other student or any other matter, um, and so that, that is why uh, the incident is now closed. He's been charged, and it's, it's at the court level. Do you know how long he's been a coach? Um, I don't. I don't know off the top of my head. Um, I, I didn't ask for a length of, of tenure. I, I do know that uh, he's uh, been a, a resident here, and his, his family has been uh, involved in our community for quite some time, but uh, I don't know that exact length he was employed by the Meriden Board of Education. Can you confirm it? It's my understanding he's been involved in the swim team at Platt ever since he was a student when he went to Platt, right? Uh, there's, uh, again, I, I know he's been involved and engaged with our school system um, and our community, but otherwise I, I can't confirm any exact length of uh, involvement. Okay, so the charge of um, voyeurism, obviously that just means the police had enough Uh, I do not for sure know exactly what was found on, on the phone. I do know that uh, for this incident, the student uh, did notice it prior to, uh, you know, or as she entered the locker room prior to actually getting changed or anything like that. You don't know how long that camera was up there in the locker room? I do not. Any uh, other previous history going back with this guy on, you know, discipline incidents or any, anything else? 
Not that I'm aware of, no, the Meriden Board of Education has not uh, given me any of that information uh, around his state of employment or, or past history. It, it didn't seem as though from my conversations with administration, uh, but uh, nonetheless, we, we also want to just ensure that our students and our staff have the support uh, and obviously know that this is a serious event and the city of Meriden takes it very seriously. I want to thank the school officials for getting the Meriden Police Department involved. It, it just goes to show that the Meriden Public School System and our police department do have a great relationship. Um, and, and, you know, I know we've, we've highlighted school resource officers in the past. Uh, we have school, school resource officers at our high schools on a daily basis. So, uh, you know, we, we uh, continue to have public safety personnel in the buildings on a daily basis. Um, and, uh, and personnel available so that if any student needs to, to seek additional help or, or ask a question, that we have staff available. This news is, of course, upsetting to a lot in the community. Many parents, any of those that didn't want to get involved, any school parents, have they processed this news? You know, that, that our, the, the research and the investigation that was done uh, doesn't show uh, any extensive history here or, or anything else uncovered. Uh, so I, I know there's probably some speculation out there around, you know, well, what else might there be? Um, and, and it doesn't seem as though that there's anything beside this one incident that occurred. Uh, but, of course, if there's any student that either has more information or, or has a concern, uh, to please reach out. We, we want parents to know that, that they uh, are welcome and open to reach out to the Meriden Police Department or the Meriden Board of Education if they feel uh, that there's still a threat or, or any concern. I, I do believe it is co-ed to some extent, okay. yeah. Kevin, have you had conversations with uh, the Board of Ed and the, the Athletic Department about ensuring uh, trust in uh, the hiring of those coaches? Yeah, so I, I'm glad you brought that up, Mike. So whether it's you know a, a part-time coach or a full-time uh, certified teacher, everyone goes through the same background check, right? So we have, um, through the, the Merit Board of Education and, and their HR department, um, there is a vetting that is done for any employee, whether it's, it's a coach or a teacher or administrator. Um, background checks are conducted, so to that extent, um, we can ensure that that was done properly. Uh, but yes, I've been in touch with uh, Central Office Administration, Board of Education Administration, and police officials on this matter. Again, the press release noted January is when uh, it, that they were first made aware, the police department were made aware. Um, I, I don't believe parents were notified until the public release came out today um, that the investigation was conducted. And I think that was done in such a way because there was nothing else found. Should something have come up in that investigation, uh, police department tells me that that you know, would have been notified much earlier uh, if there was cause for concern until the arrest today. Uh, they didn't feel as, as though there was a need to put something out immediately. Okay. All right. Thank you all very much.